Hi all, welcome to Dieter 3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, uh, I want to try this KK uh, 2.1.5 board on this racing quad. So if you didn't see my uh, this racing quad build, uh, I'll leave you the links in description. You can look at that. So this is the racing quad I uh, uh, previously built. So on this quad, what I want to try is I want to try this uh, board. So let's see how it will fly. So uh, I removed the previous uh, flight controller board that is SP Racing F3. Okay, so I leave the links in the description. So if you want to uh, look at the build, you can look at. So this have everything uh, and you can see I removed the top portion of this uh, frame. Okay, so just uh, let me show you what uh, this racing quad have. So this have motors, you can see BR, Okay, double two, zero five, twenty three hundred uh, kV motors, and this will run with three S and four S both. Okay, okay, uh, and ES is uh, you can see here. Uh, I'm using thirty amps ESC. Yeah, so I'm using uh, thirty amps Raystar ESC. Uh, these are BL heli ESC. You can see here. No? So these are 30 amps BL heli uh, ESCs. Okay. So these are from uh, Race Star, Race Star. Same like this motors only Race Star. And the frame is QAV 250. That is the frame. And uh, see, uh, this already have FPV camera. Okay. So this FPV camera and this is the video transmitter this is a video transmitter you can see micro vtx this is okay so so uh, this is a switchable uh, vtx that means uh, you can use it indoor for a low uh, uh, for outdoor you can use the high uh, range okay so that you can uh, change it there will be a button here by pressing here you can change it okay so this will give you 200 milliwatts okay uh, this is a 200 milliwatts uh, video transmitter okay that you can switch it okay and uh, see uh, and uh, you can see this is a matic power distribution board okay and uh, you can see here these are 5 volts is which is going to uh, this video transmitter vtx okay vtx and another 5 volts uh, to power this one uh, kk 2.1.5 board because these escs are opto that means this will not have uh, bec in it okay so we need to supply power for this board separately because it won't come with a escs that's why that's why another 5 volts this connector servo connector so that that I will connect for this empty uh, pins okay so if you look at this see this have a layout one two three four like that a motor layout one two three four so that way you need to connect okay so uh, let's see this okay which is one and which is two which is three motors we can find out so if you want to know that just you need to power it up and load the x configuration of the quad so how you will uh, configure that first we need to power it up so if you power it up then you will come to know uh, which is the motor okay so let's see that first i will power it now so i will power it so first we need to power this one so uh, i will connect this to any one of them so later I will connect to uh, the last one. Okay. So for now, what I'll connect, I'll, I'll do. I'll connect to this first one. Okay. See the markings here. Okay. So you can see here. Signal positive, negative. So that way you need to connect. So you 
you can power it now okay so i'll zoom in now so you can see yeah yeah you can see here now so this is showing error so first what i'll do i'll do factory reset yeah just click on this factory reset okay let's go back and you need to select the motor layout so we need to use this quadcopter plus mode so we are doing in x mode so select this x okay so you can see the motor directions so so if you say next so it will show direction of the motor so first motor should be clockwise second motor should be counterclockwise third motor should be clockwise and fourth motor should be counterclockwise like this yeah these are unused motors that's it now we just loaded okay so now what we need to do is so to fix this error we need to do the sensor calibration and okay and also you can do some changes in this and just to accelerometer calibration also yeah. and small changes you need to do self level settings no need to change anything here so self level it is better always on then uh, yeah, you can so you can come down the receiver type I'm using ppm so you can use CPP okay that's it now you can okay like this now uh, okay so first what i will do i will mount this bolt here then i will connect the uh, i will connect the escs as per this layout okay then i will be back i will show you how we can start this okay so now i mounted this uh, on this quad so here what I connected is for the board, um, see this is the power supply for this board. So I connected in um, I think channel 5 channel 6 but because I am using this receiver. So this receiver will give you PPM signal, you can see here. This PPM wire I connected in a aileron channel, okay. So this is the yellow color. This black and uh, red is to power the receiver okay that's it 
now we need to connect the motors ESCs to this layout 1 2 3 4 like that so as per our layout so this is our layout so this is the motor one that means this ESC we need to connect in motor one so signal will come this side this is the motor one and it will rotate clockwise and uh, this is motor number two so this will rotate counterclockwise so signal should come this side this is two next uh, this is three so we can connect yes. Then this is 4, channel number 4. So this. Okay. So if you're not connected, this see what will happen. Because these ESCs will not have a BEC in it, so that it won't power it up. See? it's not powering up that's why you need to power this one and uh, yeah you can see now so the center one is the positive this side left side pin is negative so So now if I power on, like this, okay, so now I will switch on my meter, so like this, and you can see the settings, see now it is on. You need to move the stick right side. So, okay. So if you move the stick left side, so make sure everything is rotating in the correct order. So this is clockwise, yeah. Like this. So, yeah. Now all motors are spinning. That's fine. So, make sure your receiver is still like this. That means it is detected. So, anyhow, you can check it here in this menu. You can go here and uh, you can check receiver test. See? throttle full down and you can see if you move the stick left it should show left right forward and backward so everything is fine working fine so we don't need to worry so this here is fine now yeah you can check it and uh, yeah you want to check it in this way also you can check it see this also you can check it yeah. so whichever way you like you can check it now just make sure everything is working fine in the end just you need to uh, test the sensors huh? calibration
you can do the ACC calibration so you can see the bubble make sure it is in center this is also kind of the center okay so now all motors are fine so now we can add propellers as per the motor direction then we can go out and fly okay it's very simple so let's see how it will fly okay i will take it out and i'll see how it will fly. okay so i'll show you that video Do that. 